Good morning, students. In the last session, we discussed chapter 1. And I had given you some assignment and I hope you have uh, done it. Now let us move to the next subject, next uh, chapter that is subject uh, agreeing with verb. Subject verb agreement. You might have learned already in the lower classes that uh, uh, verb must agree with the subject. Say for example, if the subject is singular, the verb must also be singular. And if the subject is plural, the verb must also be plural. So this is a lesson that helps you to understand uh, which kinds of uh, uh, subject must have a singular verb and uh, uh, which kind of uh, subjects must have a plural verb. So here uh, we must remember the rule that is uh, uh, singular with a singular and plural with a plural. The same way uh, subject must uh, agree with also the, the uh, person. Person means the first person and the second person, third person that we learn <coughs> in the grammar. So let's move forward to the uh, rules and regulations that has to be followed uh, while seeing to the subject verb agreement. So the first rule we have two or more singular subjects connected with and. So here when and is used to connect singular subject then we take the verb in plural form. Look at Sudha and her sister. Sudha is a singular subject and uh, her sister is a singular subject and it is connected with and therefore we have a plural verb have come have done some mischief so the same way two or more singular subject preceded by each every and connected by and a singular subject is so whenever there is a subject uh, connected with each and every then it will be singular subject though it is connected with and if the word each and every comes, it will become singular. For example, every man and every woman, it is connected with the and, but every is used here. Therefore, we have a singular verb was. So, understood difference between uh, using singular and plural when uh, sentences are joined with and. There are still more uh, rules using and will come with that. The next one, that when two singular noun refer to the same person and thing. So, if and is used to, to join two singular noun, which is same person, that is referring to the same person, again we have a singular. For example, the dancer and singer is dead. Here and is used here and is used here we have and is used with the dancer and singer but we have a verb in singular because dancer and singer is the same person dancer and singer is the same person refer to the same person now at the same time when two or two singular noun refer to the same person singular when two singular noun refer to two different persons then it will be plural. Let's see the director and the actor. So director and the actor and joined with and have is a plural verb. I hope you understand. I look at here in the first sentence the singular noun referring to the same person. The easy way to understand is the dancer and singer. Article is not repeated in the second sentence. Look whereas in the uh, in the second sentence here article is not repeated but here you see the director the actor so in order to make out whether it is referring to the same person or not look at the article used if the article is repeated that means it is two different person if the article is not repeated, then it is a single person. If it is a single person, then it is singular form. If it is two different person, it is a in plural form and verb must be according to the uh, subject. 
so you understood there are four rules now uh, we have used uh, with and now the last one when two subjects together express one idea and is used to express two idea two different things for one idea that means singular one idea therefore one singular for example bread and butter is a stapled idea look at bread and butter it's one and the same time you apply bread and butter and it's same one and item therefore <coughs> it is in singular law and order it's one and the same uh, thing that we are speaking about therefore so you see we have got almost five rules uh, regarding and here we have and used for singular subject therefore plural here we have uh, every man and every person and used therefore singular we have here uh, per, same person uh, or thing therefore we have singular and is used here we have two different distinct persons plural we have used and and here I told you look at the article to make out and we have to express one idea and is used bread and butter and then singular form is used so we use in three places singular and three pla two places plural so I hope you understood how we use about and <coughs> now Let's see the next one. Two or more singular subject connected by or nor, either nor. It is in singular. Neither you nor I was. I is another subject. You is another subject. But you see, as if singular is used. So you see, neither nor, um, every, all these singular is used. Subjects of different numbers connected by uh, or nor, either, neither, those are used by plural. See the example, Hema or her friends have made this paint, painting. See, Hema or her friends. Look at, it is a plural form have. It is a plural form have here. So we have got uh, two different ways. When or neither in singular subject, it is a singular. And then when we have got uh, uh, the plural subject, nearest to the verb coming then we have here subject suffering in number or person or both connected by and then we have plural you he and i are subject differing in number or person or both connected by and we have got a plural form see you he and i so let's move to the next uh, uh, rule we have here the next one Subject of different persons joined by or, nor, either, neither. Then agrees in person with the nearest to it. So after this, which one comes according to that? See, either he or I am. If it is a, uh, I, then I am. If it is she, is, is. So according to the subject that is lying near to the verb. Nouns singular in form but plural meaning. For example, the police are looking for clues to trace the culprit. The police. It could be a um, singular person or plural person. So we have got uh, here police are looking. The police are looking in general. Okay, say so one dozen bananas cost. It's a plural form. So we have got uh, here more than uh, expressing a plural meaning. Now, noun plural in form of form, but singular in meaning. Then it also will be in a uh, singular form. So, we have here, good news is always welcome. So, we are saying good news is always welcome. Then we have words joined with, together with as well as. Let's see what will happen with this one. Together with and as well as agrees with the first subject that means what is the first subject accordingly the uh, verb was to be the teacher with all the students look it's of his class or the teacher with all the students students is plural okay but the first subject is the teacher therefore the verb is has singular if it were the teachers with all the students then it would have been simply plural so it in in uh, places where sentences joined with with together as well as etc 
जो द सब वर्ब विल बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द फर्स्ट सब्जेक्ट देन वी हैव द नेक्स्ट वन हियर सब्जेक्ट इज अ रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन वॉट डज दैट मीनिंग एग्रीज इन नंबर एंड पर्सन विद द एंड सडेंट ऑफ द रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन एंड सडेंट ऑफ द रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन ए नाउन और ए प्रोनाउन दैट ए रिलेटिव प्रोनाउन रिफर्स टू सो एज एक्सापल ई एम द गर्ल हू हेज वन सो this is the uh, 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 antecedent i am the girl who has therefore singular verb i am the one who shuns the man antecedent amit is the one who take um, amit is one of those men so you see those men so that is a plural therefore take those men is a um, more than one those men men is more than one so the verb is a uh, in plural so i hope you understood this let's move to the next one now we have here a collective noun when refers to collection as a whole then it will be in singular see the crew was large that means number of the number of people in the crew was a large so was is a singular form okay now a collective noun refers to the collection separately then it will be plural plus the crew were taken prisoners that means uh, the num- number members of the crew a uh, few members of the crew were taken as a prisoners so there we have got a plural form were so that is the uh, when uh, collective nouns used as a singular form then it is a cl- cl- as a whole form then we take it as a singular form when it is taken separately individual person then we take it as a plural form now when a noun denotes the name of a place an institution or the title of the book then what we use we use a singular form uday uh, udaipur is known is known for its uh, lake places so i hope you understood this much so there are many places we use singular and uh, plural verb according to the subject let us see to the next one a few things that you must remember the note that the we have got here is Uh, an order is followed for placing subjects of different person in sentence so subjects of different person in a sentence generally order is used what order is used second person third person and first person so very often uh, we are prone to make mistakes uh, we miss ordering them sometime we use first person and then second person then third person but in the reverse order first one is the second person then third person and then first person so for example you she and i look at you is the second person she is the th- third person i the first person should be followed while making the sentences now we have got some other important rules that to be remembered while using the verb for example a plural noun followed by words expressing quantity like number of majority of for such kind of things we use a plural so look at the example a large number of women women were present were large number of women as a plural form whereas you see a plural noun followed by words expressing mathematical figure like number of see the number of illiterate people the number of illiterate people is it's a singular form see it's a singular form because plural noun followed by words expressing mathematical that is number of illiterate person so here we have got a uh, mathematical formation therefore we use it as a singular form now a plural noun followed by uh, the words lots of both singular and plural according to the um, noun that is coming for example lots of water is lots of people are according to the Uh, subject if subject is singular verb is singular if subject is verb then uh, verb is uh, plural so when and uh, for example lots with the, an infinitive there is lots to be done in to be is the infinite form so therefore if it is used in the uh, singular form is look at here now when an indefinite number quantity is followed by noun then we use singular with the singular noun placed after of and plural with the plural noun placed after of so whenever we have got the preposition of 
we use if it is singular then with of we use singular if it is plural we use plural let's say the example plenty of water water is uh, taken as a singular form so plenty of water is is the verb singular form a couple of changes of changes is a plural form and the verb is in plural form so these things you must remember when you uh, while changing uh, putting verb into the sentence Sometime it so happens uh, uh, that uh, some errors are being made. So let's see what it is meant. Sometime the verb is uh, erroneously made to agree in number and person with a noun nearest to the uh, subject rather than to its own subject. So this is known as the error of proximity. Such errors should be avoided as each of the boys was given a book. Here the subject is each and not boys. Therefore, the price of the same way the price of all the cars has risen here the subject is the price and not the cars they must remember that then we have here an assignment for you there are uh, 15 questions for you <coughs> so i hope you will try to uh, do it uh, look at the first one look at the first sentence here fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb given here the proprietor and director. See, and is used. The proprietor dash and director. I had told you when you have got two nouns joining with and, if the article is repeated, it will be plural. If it, the article is not repeated, it will be singular. So what will be the answer here? The proprietor and directors has appointed. So the answer will be uh, has. So here the answer will be has you have to just write uh, has here you tick mark the word has and uh, write the answer here so like that you can do the all 15 questions uh, try to do it in the book and then you'll be able to uh, do the answer in the test paper in the test paper uh, we have got uh, all these uh, verb form now this is the last session that i am having here in the uh, lockdown classes uh, we have completed four lessons uh, one to four we have completed i have already explained it to you how to letter write letter how to write an email and notice and then uh, you must remember when you write uh, passages the essays we have already learned all four forms of essays uh, any one essay uh, from each chapter you need to write make sure that you follow the same wording 300 to 350 words and then you must also remember you should have a proper introduction and a proper conclusion each paragraph must be connected with one another don't make the whole thing into one gem please divide them into uh, a paragraph you should have in one essay minimum five paragraph that means uh, an introduction uh, the mm, essay written into uh, three paragraph and then conclusion. So conclusion and uh, introduction uh, one one, the rest of the essay divided into two or three paragraphs. So altogether you must minimum have four to five paragraphs. Uh, and limit word limit must be kept up. It should not be uh, less than uh, 300 words uh, uh, or more than 350 words keep up to the uh, word limit and then try to do all this in the i'll be uh, giving the precise uh, homework and the project work in the lofty homework also i will be putting so you can see i have orally told you after every lesson what is your homework and what's your project is the project work will be you will have to make a project file of uh, uh, any two essays any two letter any two um, notice and uh, the summary okay this will be your uh, mm, project work i'll be giving uh, in written detail in the homework in the lofty so the last uh, class of this session uh, we are beginning with the uh, holidays uh, since you are not able to go anywhere be friendly with your books and spend time with your books uh, every subject must be given uh, sufficient time uh, do the project work, do the uh, homework, and do a bit of learning. It will be help you. Uh, so spend some time with your books. Enjoy your holidays. Happy holidays. And plus, 
uh, stay home and stay safe thank you god bless you